Squash Girls, Episode 1, A Lonely Day. Đi mẹ mẹ. Đi đi. Right. Let's fly my kite today. Peter shook her head. It's a long wind day. I have a bag of dirty clothes. Mr. Two Wingo was going to wash them. I will help you with the bed, Benjamin said. Then we can play. Peter smiled. Let's go, he said. The bunnies, the bunnies walked past the the road. Now the long we were really dirty. The, the bunnies go to Mr. Tinkerwinkle house. Wow, Peter said. It's a smelly laundry, Benjamin said. Mr. Tio Wingo was very tired. She looked at Peter back. Oh, she said, that's the all mess. Sorry, Peter said. The clothes were already dirty, Benjamin said. Mr. Tio Wingo frowned. Carrie Bunny, she said. She picked up the the apron and too tired to work today she said and she put on the cap then she left out of the door and Benjamin wash clothes, episode two, a big mess. Oh, oh, Peter said. Mr. Tinkerwinkle was going. What shall we do? Let's play, Peter said. Benjamin said. We can get my kite. Peter shook her head. I can't play yet, he said. The clothes are still dirty. We wash your clothes, Benjamin said. It's easy. Peter smiled. Good idea. Then we fly your kite. First, he, they put uh, some water in a box. Next, they put some soap. Oh, I can see, Peter cried. Be careful, Benjamin said. Oh, it's too late. More soap spilled on the floor. Oh no, Peter said. Now, now, uh, the clothes 
wa wa d wet wet and soapy I will find the pop Benjamin said Oops Benjamin sneak in the in the water Back into the table More so still on the floor. Peter Goat. We're a big mess, he said. Cock clock. Someone is not knock the door. Peter opened the door. Fluffy stood there. He stayed at the mess. What is Mr. Tiddlewinkle? She asked. Peter White saw him from his eyes. She on the, the a holiday, he said. We're watching the go today, Benjamin said. Can you help me wash the red dress? Flossie said. I need to for a party. Ah, uh, Peter tried to say no. But Flossie waved. Thank you, goodbye. Benjamin stomped her feet. We will never fly my kite. Fluffy hopped down the hill. Mr. Tillwingo was sitting in the sun. Mr. Tillwinkle wave. Hello, I am a lovely holiday. I know, Flossy said. Peter and Benjamin was watching the clothes. Mr. Tillwinkle gasped. What? They were watching the red dress. Flossie said. Mr. Tillwinkle Goat. They are making a big mess. She, Flossie said. There are many soap and more water. Mr. Tillwinkle zip up. She ran home fast. What a mess she Mr. Tillwinkle said. Mr. Tillwinkle, Peter said. You're back, Benjamin said. Mr. Tillwinkle put up an apron and cap. Benjamin mopped this floor. Peter picked up the bunch of I will, I will show you how to wash clothes. First, Mr. Tillwinkle needs some water. Next, she put some soap. Just a little bit, she said. And 
time it's time to scrub. The bunny scrub the clothes. The bunny pick the clothes into the hook. All clean, Ben Peter said. Let's go play, Benjamin said. Mr. Tewingo frowned. Not yet, she said. We will wash Flopsy Thread Red first. All the, all the clothes were clean. The house was clean. Now you can play, Mr. T. Winkle said. Peter and Benjamin walk home slowly. They got a Benjamin kite. Soon, then they went to the field. Benjamin and John. You can fly the kite first, he said. But Peter was snoring. Soon, Benjamin was snoring too. 